I made a steel element children cartoon character to walk. Watch this. Based? That animation trick was done entirely on Canva. Welcome to Learn with Daz, I'm Daz, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through a step-by-step -step process on how to make a steel character walk, bringing more life to your kids' animation videos. Ready? Let's dive right in! The magic in this trick all comes down to using Canva's AI tools, and the real star of the show here is the magic eraser. Stay tuned until the end because there's a surprise edit trick revealed for you that's going to bring more life to my character. Trust me, you don't want to rush through this tutorial. Watch it as many times as you need. Here's the thing, anything animated keeps your viewers hooked. That's exactly why I went the extra mile to animate a steel element. So my story visuals stand out, grab attention and are simply more engaging. I used three steps to achieve my animated walking character which I have given the name Timmy. First things first, log into your Canva account. If you don't have one, no worries, just sign up www.canva.com. I'll be using Canva Pro for this tutorial, which gives you access to all the tools you need. Then head over to the element section. This is where you'll find the character you want to animate. For this tutorial, I've chosen a simple steel child character to work with. Make sure your character has clean, distinct parts for easy animation. After I select my character, I flip it horizontal to face the right. I then duplicate the character as seen on screen, pick one and tap on magic eraser to begin working on it. Note that when an element is flipped, if you want to use the magic eraser, once you select it, it will show the original position, but once done, it goes back to the flipped side. Now let's get into the edit. Step 1. Use Magic Eraser to break parts for animation. I adjust the size of the Magic Eraser to get the precise place I aim to erase. the character's body midsection or torso with the hands and legs so we have only the head. After marking the area, I click on erase. Now I have the head neatly cut out and I can see some residues from the eraser so I will go on to clean it using the erase tool. Now that looks perfect. I then adjust the crop tool so it doesn't lap. Then I duplicate the full character again. This time, I'll be using the magic eraser to take out the head and the legs, leaving only the torso and hands. For precision, I reduce the eraser before using it on my character. So it neatly takes out the head and doesn't alter the body part that I want to remain. Next, I erase the legs and again, I adjust my eraser size to make the process precise and easy. After marking the area, I click on Erase, I inspect the character again for any residue and claim to my satisfaction. Now I have the hands and torso neatly cut out. Let's go back to the frame. Once again, we duplicate our complete character, select one and this time I want the Eraser tool to take out the head and torso and one of the legs. Let's get into it. 
adjust your eraser accordingly. Here you have to be precise. Zoom in if you need to. I cleared the first highlight because it spilled into the legs. Here I am taking out the leg behind. That looks good. Measuring up the placement using the full character that hasn't been altered. And then this is the final duplication, after which I will use the eraser to take out the whole parts, leaving only the neck behind. Now that's perfect, we are done using the Canva Magic Eraser tool. Next I will prepare the broken parts of our cartoon character. Here I'm trying to position the body part to look right. After organizing the character parts, it's time to place them in the correct sequence of appearance. To make sure everything stays aligned and the walking motion is smooth, I use Canva's ruler guide for precise placement. This tool helps me maintain consistency in positioning, which is key to creating a believable walking animation. Step 2. Adjust movement using Rotate. Now comes the fun part. Using the Rotate feature to breathe life into each part of our character. This is where subtle rotations will help create that smooth walking illusion.
Notice I have my character in three different step positions. Originally, I thought about using all three, but I realized the middle one looks like it's standing still. So I decided to take that one out and save it for another scenario. If I included that middle step, it would make the character look like it's walking and then suddenly pause. But for this walk animation, I'm going to focus on just the first and third step to achieve fluid motion. Trust me, you'll see exactly what I mean once we're done. Let's keep going. In this frame, I have duplicated the steps and we currently have it here. Right now, I am adjusting the position of the element so it frames the steps and so I have space for two more. I then begin to grip them so it's easy to move around. After that, I will check the layers to see the order of my character. Since I duplicated them, they will not be in order of appearance in the frame. So I go on to reorder it to make the edits easier. Step 3. Duplicating the design for each frame. Now that we've positioned the character parts, it's time to create the actual animation by duplicating the design. For this walking animation, I've decided on 10 steps, which means I'll need to create 10 frames. Here's the trick. Each frame will show a slight change in the character's position to simulate walking. So now I have 10 frames in total, each representing a step in my character's movement. Now for the crucial part, creating that smooth flow of movement. In each frame, I'm going to delete the character elements that aren't needed and keep only the one that matches the correct step in the sequence. This process is what will give our character that lifelike walking animation as we play the frames in order. Here we go. Watch closely as we transform a static image into a fully walking character with just a few simple steps. For frame 1, I'll leave the first cartoon element in place and delete the rest. So elements 2 through 10 will be gone, leaving just the starting position. For frame 2, I'll keep the second cartoon element and delete the others, so I'll remove element 1, then element 3 through to 10. For frame 3, I'll keep the third cartoon element and delete element 1, 2, and then 4 through to 10. Continue following this pattern for each frame. By the time we reach frame 10, we'll have our full walking sequence. 
where each frame shows the character in a slightly different position. This step-by-step -step process is what creates the illusion of smooth movement in our animation. Now that all the frames are set, it's time to adjust the timing for that smooth, seamless walk. I'm setting the time duration for each frame to 0.8 seconds to keep the movement fluid. Not too fast, not too slow, just right. All right, let's watch the animation and see how it turned out. Great, looks good, right? The movement is smooth and our character is walking just the way we imagined. I'm not going to add any transition in this video, I like it just like that. Next, I'm going to download this animation as a GIF, GIF. When you are ready to export, make sure to tick the transparent background box, especially if you plan to overlay this animation on different scenes or backgrounds. And there you have it, your very own walking little boy cartoon GIF animation. Timmy, our little character, is now full of life and movement. Simple, right? And that's how you animate a steel character into a walking one using Canva. This technique can instantly level up your kids' animation and make them more engaging. Remember, practice makes perfect, and the more you play around with these tools, the better you will get. Thanks for watching! If you love this tutorial, be sure to subscribe for more tips like this. Remember, animation isn't just for pros anymore, Canva makes it possible for everyone. See you in the next video where I will show you how to create this kids cartoon. Hi, I'm Timmy the Adventurous Kid. Ready to explore with me?